good morning and welcome back already despite the season only ending two weeks ago the cast night has been screwed in the Carabao Cup next season something that I wanted to make a dedicated video on because you all need to be aware of what's actually happening how just nonsensical this is uh, I couldn't quite believe this is went through now this isn't the proposal this isn't something that's being suggested on social media this is something that is already happening next season so the Carabao Cup third round is changing uh, it changes the way that teams are pulled out and it has screwed Chelsea and it's screwed the cast night over so uh, just to explain it straight away so basically there's a new seeding process in place next season so this is any team in the third round if you are in the Champions League or you're in the Europa League you actually can't draw each other so those six teams have been taken out and that means now that it's more likely for Newcastle and Chelsea and any other team that's in the draw to actually draw these teams in the third round due to the fact that they can't draw each other. So uh, it's now more likely for Newcastle next season to get a team again like Man City, again like Manchester United, Arsenal, Tottenham, Villa, Liverpool. These six teams now are... I wouldn't say guarantee because again you can still get Newcastle or Chelsea but you're, you're going to be more or less guaranteed to go into the fourth round which... I mean, why are they doing this? They come out with an excuse and they say that, well, we're going to be doing this to help fix your congestion. How does that help with fix your congestion? Because these teams will now probably get each other in the fourth round or the fifth round. All you've done really is basically stop them getting each other in the third round. They now get each other later in the competition, which doesn't change anything. It's still the same amount of fixtures being played. All it changes basically is that the teams get an easier chance in the third round. They can't get each other in the third round. So all the top teams are more or less guaranteed to get further in the competition, which is absolute BS. Uh, let's get, let's be honest about this. It's absolute BS. Now, I know some of you guys might be thinking, well, is this really a big deal, Adam? Because, you know, it's just the third round, the fourth round is still completely random. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't really matter for me because, well, what in a couple of years' time? What if teams and managers complain again about the Carabao Cup? What are they going to do then? Make it so in the fourth round, the Conjure, you know what I mean? How is the EFL basically bent over and went, well, you know what? We're going to change the draw in the third round so the top teams can't get each other. And these guys basically will get an easier game in the third round just to help you out. How, how, is that a fair, how is that a fair competition? It, it quite literally remove, artificially removes teams out so they then can't draw each other. And it now means that for the other teams in the competition, it's now more likely to draw those teams. So how is that a fair structure? Newcastle could have finished in the Conference League and we still would have been screwed because it doesn't reply to the Conference League. So Chelsea, despite actually having European football, still doesn't class as this. So for us, Chelsea and every other team, <laughs> are you taking the mic? We're going to be getting Man City in the third round again. I, I, I couldn't I couldn't quite believe this, you know. I, I was so annoyed when I seen this in social media. It just The EFO has quite literally just bent over for these top teams and... Uh, how how is that a fair structure how is that possibly fair that you can just take them put them into a seeding and then every other team that's left in the draw will now draw these teams like uh, for me I, I just find that baffling i don't know what you guys think about that but obviously that's a bad thing for newcastle that's not good for us and we're now going to probably survive the draw of death in the third round so if we're lucky enough not to get any of these six teams in the draw it doesn't necessarily matter because in the fourth round you can assume all six teams are probably going to go through so you're just going to get one of them anyway so uh, it's, it's a bloody nightmare isn't it I mean, how, how why is this happening who's asked for this nobody's asked for this to so put this in and now all the top teams are basically benefiting from it and uh, i think it's it's hard for me to talk about because if Newcastle was in the top six position, what would I be saying? Obviously, then it would heavily benefit us, but even then, I still think it's absolute beer. So, um, I'm intrigued to see what you guys think about this. Uh, the new Carabao Cup third round seeding means that we can now be more likely to draw a top team. I mean, we're drawing all the bloody top teams last season anyway, so it doesn't exactly change much in our point of view, but now more or less, more or less confirms that we probably are going to get one in the third round. So, I mean, it's, it's, it kind of goes both ways because if Newcastle beats this top team like we did the Manchester City, it then makes our, it's supposed to make our run easier, but then we've got Man U and then we've got Chelsea. So, yeah. Ideally, if we were able to knock one of these big teams out straight away, you're knocking the competition out in them. At that point, things may get easier for Newcastle, but 
I still didn't like that. I still didn't like that. You're basically letting the big six go through. Um, that, that's what you might as well call it. The big six, there you are. There's, there's a free pass at the round four. Uh, absolute rubbish. And I'm, I'm getting sick of seeing just absolute BS like this in social media. I mean, how, how the hell is that a fair structure? I mean, who is that benefiting? Nobody except for the teams that are in European football. And even then, the excuse again, fix the congestion. It, that does not fix, fix the congestion. It simply doesn't fix it. And if my personal opinion, what I would personally do as well, if you get into a stage where the big six don't care about the Carabao World Cup, they're getting frustrated with the competition, they don't want anything to do with it, get them all out and just kick any European team out. So uh, it then gives our teams a chance to actually win a trophy, in my, my personal opinion, or maybe add something like, um, it's, it's almost like... Um, I think it's a St. John's trophy for like the League One, League Two clubs who are basically no championship Premier League clubs and getting this little smaller cup. If it's something like that, it includes something like that. So then you can actually see teams that don't win trophies win trophies, i.e. us. You see teams like Brighton Challenge. You can see a, a team like Everton, Nottingham Forest. You can see these teams that were obviously successful 30, 40 years ago. You can actually see these teams go and, go and chase down a trophy. So it, that would be my, my personal suggestion and why I personally do it. I would get... Uh, all, the, all the European teams out of the Carabao Cup will just include a third competition or something a bit smaller for basically teams that uh, don't win trophies to try and win something. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, the point of my video wasn't a suggestion you proposal for the EFL. The point of this video was to call it out and it's BS because I, <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't believe this new proposal. It's actually, it's probably got under my head this morning, but... Yeah, uh, you guys, I'm sure you get your own opinions on it. So let me know down below. What do you think about this new proposal? Are you asked about it? Do you not mind since it's one game? Or are you seething with this uh, new proposal that has obviously screwed us over? So yeah, it's, it's not ideal, is it? It's simply not ideal. What's next to come out in social media? There's absolute madness at the minute now. The Castle went away with Australia for a couple of end of season fixtures. The point of that obviously was to make some money. We made about three million pounds in the two games, which will then go into FFP. And the second we announced a trip like that, straight away you see social media Premier League looking into potentially stopping end the season fixtures. It just feels like the world's against the Castle. Just anything we do and anything we deem an opportunity to try and go into, we just get halted. And now the Carabao Cup's getting changed just just to appease the European teams. It's just I'm, I kind of I kind of believe that. Like, I, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't believe it. This is coming in next season. But yeah, it's just stuff like this it just continues to come out, and it just how how much more are we going to take? Like the thing that worries me is not exactly this new rule in the third round. Is that what they're going to do next? If the EFL has already implemented something like this, what's stopping them from them going, you know what, fourth round, it's not going to happen, fifth round, it's not going to happen. What's going to stop them just continuing to change the rules to basically stop teams and stop managers mourning in the big six? Like, I just, how is this a rule? Like, how is this actually a rule? Like, it's almost like I'm making a parody video here and you guys are kind of like having a laugh like, from this. This is not a laugh, like, this is actually happening. This is something that's now came in. And it's just, it's madness. What next? Like, what's going to change next? And it's just, for me and for Newcastle fans, I'm, I'm getting sick of this. I'm getting so sick of this crap. But yeah, we've got to accept that it's happening now. We've got to hope to God that we don't get one of these teams in the draw. But you just know straight away, third round draw, Manchester City away, <laughs> Tottenham away. Oh, and I'm not looking forward to it, but... Uh, on the flip side, though, we get one of these teams early on. Uh, chances are the might put out a bit more of a depleted squad we knock them out then you are starting to kill the competition off but the issue is these teams aren't getting each other so uh, surely unless one of them was unfortunate enough to get Newcastle or Chelsea surely you expect no six to go through so it's frustrating it doesn't fix fix your congestion again because they're just going to draw each other anywhere in the next couple of rounds so uh it doesn't make any bloody sense and it just screws these smaller teams as well uh, how does the smaller teams get a chance of going through from that now it's just it's one of those ones it is what it is it happens had to accept it for what it is but i thought i'd come out in this video and just to inform you and to let you all know what's actually happened here mental absolutely mental honestly the, what's next i'm just worried what's next now so we'll see as time progresses what actually will come from this but yeah uh not not a great not a great uh, start of next season to say the least Appreciate you guys watching anyway. You all take care now. 
be back with transfer news tomorrow, most likely, depending on what comes out. But yeah, that was the most recent news. We have been screwed in the Carabao Cup. We've been screwed by the EFL. We were screwed last season because they, they can't even put Newcastle and Norwich City in the correct order. But we've been screwed this season already because we haven't got European football. And even then, Conference League wouldn't have got you that spot. So yeah, I'm not good. We've been just taking the mick out of here. But yeah, guys, I uh, appreciate your watching. Make sure to let me know your comments and anger, most likely, in the comments section. And we'll see you all in the next one.